this video, we explore the question of what is AAC and who uses it. All communication goes beyond speech. It includes intonation, gesture and body language. It is something that everyone uses every day. But when we speak of augmentative and alternative communication, AAC, we are thinking more of different methods of communication that enhance and help address problems with speech. Some use AAC because their speech is difficult to understand, perhaps because of a physical disability or speech impairment, whilst others use AAC to help address communication challenges as a result of being deaf, having autism or another form of learning disability. AAC is used to help people express themselves. Where people have little or no clear speech, AAC can help people to express themselves, whether that is a problem in forming spoken words, or where people do not understand how language works, finding it difficult to connect socially. In such cases, a concrete form of communication may be helpful. AAC also helps with understanding. Where people find it difficult to comprehend what others are saying because of a stroke, hearing impairment or other disability, when others use AAC, it can make communication clearer and easier to understand. AAC offers many different tools, techniques and approaches to help communicate with friends, family and peers. At home, school, college or at work, AAC supports people to live independently, to express their needs and to take part in social and shared activities. There are many different types of AAC. For instance, signing is based upon gesture and body language, the way we stand, position our arms and move. Often this is unconscious, but adds meaning to our spoken words. Such gestures and movements can be carefully structured as a language such as that used by many deaf people. Signing adds visual support for those who have comprehension difficulties and doesn't require equipment. But signing systems need everyone involved in a conversation to know the rules of the language to participate. Most people combine speech with signing and signing is often used as part of a total communication system where it adds cues and is helpful to everyone involved in the conversation. Text can also be a form of augmentative communication. Text is all around us, in books and written words, in shared notes. It's easy to use and all we need is a paper and a pen to communicate with one another. Language uses words to represent meanings so people can communicate their thoughts to each other. Words are often spoken or written but they can take other forms such as symbols. People who do not speak might use symbols as a way to express their thoughts. Symbols are used widely in everyday life as a kind of visual language. Road signs, care symbols on clothing or direction symbols at an airport are examples of how symbols can convey information quickly and effectively. Symbols can be read regardless of the person's language or literacy skills. And for people with communication difficulties, they can benefit from using symbols to understand what other people are saying, as well as to express what they want to say. Symbols are based upon graphics and images. They can communicate a range of concepts. They can be concrete, such as apple, or more complex, such as husband, or even abstract, such as love. There are many symbol sets available, including Bliss or PCS, which are commercial, or Arasak and Tawassal that are open licensed. Open systems are very effective at offering different designs to address different languages and cultures. AAC can be delivered in a variety of ways, using increasingly complex and modern technology. In low resource settings, we can use no tech communication which does not require any equipment. This can include body language, gestures, 
pointing, eye pointing, facial expressions, sounds and signing. But such systems can be limited or open to misinterpretation. So the use of low-tech systems, which do not require a power source, can be very beneficial. These can include pen and paper to write messages or draw, alphabet and word boards, communication charts, or books with pictures, photos and symbols. Particular objects can be used to stand for what the person needs to understand or say. This is sometimes referred to as aided communication because additional equipment is required. High-tech communication systems need electrical power from a battery or mains and usually speak and produce text. They range from simple buttons or pages that speak when touched to very sophisticated systems. Some high-tech communication systems are based on familiar equipment such as mobile devices, tablets and laptops. Others use equipment especially designed to support communication. AAC, especially where it is combined with technology, gives many people a voice, a means to express their needs and desires. Without such a voice, it is difficult for any person to achieve their potential to live independently. Now let's explore some of these issues in more depth.